Hi boys and girls, welcome back to learning. Um, I hope you had a great Christmas break. Um, today we're going to do chapter nine, lesson one, talking about squares and rectangles. So if we look, what's this? That's right, it's a square. What's this? That's right, it's a rectangle. So what's really cool about squares and rectangles is that they're both a little bit the same. Can you look at how you think they're the same? Yeah, both of them have one, two, three, four sides. But how are they different? Yeah, that's right. The rectangle is longer, has two longer sides and two shorter sides, but the square has four sides that are exactly the same. They also have four corners or angles. Everybody say angles. That's right, angles. It's where the two sides come together. That's also called a vertex. But if we say it, multiple vertex is vertices. So how many vertices? Everybody say vertices. That's right, vertices. How many vertices does a square have? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four. Nice. And a rectangle? That's right, the same, four vertices. Everybody say, four vertices. Nice, okay. <clears throat> so now, I want you to take your paper and let's look at it together, okay? I'm gonna move my camera a little bit so you can see my paper. I'll move all my shapes out of the way. And on our paper, it says use a square and a rectangle to make a farm picture. Well, let's see. I'm thinking about a farm picture. Maybe a barn? Okay. So, if I put my square here and I trace around it, which by the way, boys and girls, you can take the shapes out of your learning packet that you got and you can trace yours as well. I have to make a roof for my barn. There. And if I had a little tiny rectangle, I could make a barn door, right? All right. So I used only a square and rectangle to make a nice barn. How many squares did I use? Let's count. I used one for the building, two, three for the door. And then I have one, two rectangles that I used for the roof. Now, if you would like, you can make your own barn scene. You don't have to make the exact same one I did. Just put pause on the video, go ahead and do it. And then when you're done, push play, okay? All right, if you're back from making your farm picture, then I want you to turn the page and look, there are two pigs here. And the pigs are talking about open shapes and closed shapes. So let me show you on my whiteboard, because it's a little bit bigger, what I'm talking about. Okay, so an open shape has an entrance. Like that little pig, he could just go right inside there, couldn't he? Because there's an opening. But could that pig go inside of this one? No, because it's closed. It's all the way shut. So shapes can either be open shapes or closed shapes. Like that. Is that an open shape or a closed shape? That's right, it's an open shape. Look, there's an opening. What about that one? That's right, it's a closed triangle, isn't it? All right. <clears throat> so let's look at our paper again. And it talks about squares and rectangles are two-dimensional shapes. They are closed. See, all the way around. We can't get in, can we? They have straight sides and vertices. So on the square, the vertex, remember I said if it's only one, it's a vertex. So we can say one vertex, two vertex, three, 
four. But if it's more than one, we say vertices, okay? So just the angle right there is the vertex. We know that a square has how many sides? That's right, four sides. And if I count, how many vertices do we have? One, two, three, four, that's right. Okay, and what about rectangles? That's right, again, rectangles have four sides, but how many vertices? That's right, four. All right, let's check down here, this rectangle. How many sides? You're right, four. How many vertices? You're correct. The vertices, remember, are these. These are the vertices where the angles come together. Okay, how many sides does that square have? You're right, four. And how many vertices? Yeah, four. Very good. So at the bottom it says math talk. How are a rectangle and a square alike? I want you to find somebody in your house and tell them how this rect or this square and this rectangle are alike. How are they the same? Maybe even talk about how are they different. All right, so now it's your turn. You're going to practice this page on your own or with help from a friend, and then on the back, and then the page that we want you to return or take a picture of and put in your portfolio is the homework page, okay? All right, happy learning.